Peace YouTube, what's going on? It's DJ Payne One, and welcome to part six. I think this is part six. I better check. Oh my god, it's part five. My fault. Part five. Let me start over. YouTube, what's up? It's DJ Payne One. Welcome to part five of my promoting your music online video series. I've already um, released a, a video on getting music to blogs, contacting blogs and websites, and sending your music there. And hopefully, um, some of you have tried this. Most of you have tried. All of you have tried it. Hell, and you've had luck. And once you get your music on these sites or blogs, uh, you want to maximize your traffic, and you also want to maintain your relationship with those sites and blogs. So I'm going to tell you some really, in my opinion, some really important and practical information if you're an artist of any kind. I mean, I think anyone who's using the internet to promote their art or, or if they're using their internet for any type of commerce, this is extremely important. So before we start, I'm going to ask one question. Do you have a Twitter account? I talk to a lot of artists who do not have Twitter accounts. Why don't you have a Twitter account? There's no excuse. Twitter is great networking. If you want proof, uh, my second GZ placement would not have happened if it weren't for Twitter. I wouldn't know Mr. Fab. Probably a lot of my placements wouldn't happen because I met Sarah J on Twitter. So the networking opportunities are endless on Twitter. Get a Twitter account. Um, that's point number one and you'll understand why in a second. Tool number two, and this is super important because a lot of people don't know about this service. It's called Google Alerts. I'm gonna tie this all back into the, the, the blogs and websites and your music in a second. But Google Alerts are extremely important. You should sign up for those too, and I'll show you how. Artists, a lot of times, express apprehension uh, over releasing music, right? As artists, we want control over our intellectual property. So if a song goes out, or if I produce a beat and the beat just gets sent out, I'm gonna wanna know where that beat goes, where the beat goes, where it's been, who's using it, how and why. Um, and Google Alerts, to a degree, helps you control your intellectual property if it gets posted on the web and if you're credited I'll explain how so all you gotta do is go to google.com slash I can't spell alerts in the search query area um, this is what I type DJ Payne one right so that means that anything with my name in it is going to be given to me as an alert so if you look at the right Google alert for today so this was um, these are the the four Google pages or results that were added today to Google to their database. So here's one from FL Studio Music. They um, have posted my recent loop pack. J Keys, I did his mixtape recently. So he posted it on PR Web or it got posted on PR Web. He must have done a coast to coast package. Now I can go to this website every day and check this stuff out or I could have this stuff emailed to me, which I do. Um, I learned about this back when I went to New York. I think the first time to, sh to, to sell beats. You can see footage of it. I'm in the studio with Shaw Money and, and Will Selby, and um, you know I'm just giving credit where credit is due. Shaw Money told me to do this, and it's really helped. So appreciate that. So I just put in my email, and you hit create alert. So that means every time anything with my name, DJ Payne One gets added to the Google base, which is virtually everything on the internet, I get an email alert saying, hey, this is online now. So if I didn't know that the J Keys uh, mixtape had come out, I would find out. So now I can kind of monitor where all my stuff goes. How does this relate to blogs? Well, <clears throat> let's say I get a Google alert that uh, my recent mixtape has been added to a website. So let's say it was KevinNottingham.com. Um, I'd say, okay, cool. KevinNottingham.com is supporting my mixtape. That's what's up. Now I want to continue building a good uh, relationship with this blog because they're supporting my project. Uh, you know, and it doesn't matter if the blog is is one that's uh, just starting out and kind of small, or one that's a little bigger and, and well established, like Kevin Nottingham. So first and foremost, if, if a website or a blog adds your music and is supporting your creative projects, you probably should thank them. Um, I always try to thank blogs, you know, whenever they post my stuff. They don't always respond. I thank them via Twitter or email if I have their email information. But, you know, I still like doing that, um, and I think uh, that's just common courtesy. But another really good way to solidify your relationship with a blog and promote yourself 
even better is to do what I'm about to show you. Okay, Kevin Nottingham's website keeps taking me somewhere else. I'm just gonna Google okay, painkillers. Okay, two dope boys. Two doughboys.com posted my mixtape as well. Shout out to them. Thank you for the support. Now the vast majority of all blogs uh, have this option, websites too, to share individual posts. Um, you can like it on Facebook or you can tweet it. So here's where Twitter comes in. I mean, you should have a Twitter regardless just to interact with people and network. But here's where Twitter is really helpful in spreading the word on certain things. So here's uh, what I would do. I would just hit tweet, uh, not stumble upon tweet and log into Twitter and it'll automatically tweet it. Now what that's gonna do is it's going to alert the blog that this one post has been tweeted. So the more tweets you get and encourage your, your, your fans and friends to retweet whenever a website posts your music because those numbers go up and the website that posts your music is seeing that not only do you appreciate them for posting your music but also they're seeing that visitors are responding to that tweet like you actually have fans so they're gonna be more interested in your music and they're gonna be more inclined to post your music the next time if you don't get any interest if you don't get any comments if you don't get any retweets on these posts they might think okay this person has no fans why are we going to keep supporting his music? He's not generating any traffic to, to our website. But if you get all of your fans and all of your friends, and if you keep hitting that retweet button, don't do it a whole bunch because that's annoying. But if you do it a couple times and encourage other people to do it, then, you know, maybe the blog, maybe Two Dope Boys is going to say, okay, DJ Payne One had a lot of people support his uh, Painkillers project that we posted on our, on our site. So when Volume 2 comes out, we're going to post it again. So to review... Get a Twitter and sign up for Google Alerts. Put in your uh, band name, your producer name, your DJ name, your artist name, whatever, and monitor um, your content. What what music of yours, what intellectual property of yours gets posted online? Monitor that, control it, and when it gets posted, publicize it. Go on your Facebook, go on your Twitter, go on your website and say, look, I just got posted on such and such a site. I just got posted on this site. I just got posted on that site. Check it out. Give traffic to the site that posted your music. Get traffic back. Get um, more opportunities. And you know, it's good for your fans to see and it's good for potential fans to see that there are sites out there that are taking interest in your music. So definitely spread the word when that happens. And, and Google Alerts will enable you to do that because now you know exactly where your music is going on the internet, when it's being posted, you, you, it's pretty much up to the minute, um, and it's it's it just it's good. It's it's just good promotion and good PR. And let's face it, a lot of us are doing this on our own. We we don't have a team of people to monitor the internet and and, and see where all of our music and albums and mixtapes and projects are going. We just don't. So we got to do it ourselves, and we have to make it easy for ourselves to access all that information right away, right as it's being posted. So we can exploit that information, exploit the postings, and, and um, use them to our advantage. So I hope to see a lot more people on Twitter contacting me saying that they saw this video and they got a Twitter. Just don't spam on Twitter, please. So good luck, get some music out there, build up a fan base, be successful, have fun, and uh, I will see you on part six. Peace.